Greetings, Commanders. This is Commander Atlas Rand, and I wanted to show you visually how to find, or what I do to find, the um, deep core rocks to mine. Um, what I do is I just fly around the system, and I have pulse wave on, so I constantly have that pinging and showing me all of the glowy rocks. And what you can see is there are probably five or six different types of glowing rocks. That one kind of looks square. That one looks a little triangle-ish. That one is perfectly round. This one up here is... Uh, it's kind of pointy. So anything that looks like a pear is what I will typically shoot a probat to get more details. The ones that are perfectly round or too angular or uh, too square looking, we know for sure those are not going to be the right kind of rocks. And that, that one probably isn't, it's a little too angular as well, but we'll shoot it just to test. Limpets are cheap, so you might as well find out, right? So let's see what it comes back as. Yeah, it's not. Um, however, this rock right here that we're right next to, and I wanted to record the video before I ping it, uh, before I send the limpet to it, is what exactly what we're looking for. So it, I kind of describe it as an egg shape or a pear shape. So I'm going to fly all the way around so you guys can see it. It has kind of a fat round end, and then it has a more tapered end. Um, so it is kind of like an egg in that regard, maybe a little more than a pear. And then on the tip of the smaller end, it has this flat portion and they always have this sort of flat portion coming out of the side. So I'm very certain that this will be a deep core, but I wanted you guys to really see it from every angle so you know what to look for. And you can just ignore everything that doesn't look like this it's not going to be worth shooting a limp at. at. Um, if it looks like this, for sure, shoot a limp at, at it. So let's go ahead and shoot one. See if I'm right. Yep. Monazite deep core. So that's what you're looking for, guys. And it's hard to really see the shape when it's not glowing orange. So hopefully you can uh, rewind the video if you need to memorize this shape. So if all you do is you fly around looking for this one type of rock, you're going to skip most other orange colored rocks. You're not going to bother slowing down or stopping to ping them. I usually am going at about 450 meters per second most of the time until I see a rock that looks like this. When I see a rock that looks like this, then I slow down, drop a limpet, if I was correct, and this indeed is the right kind of rock, only then do I bother, uh, you know, dropping a limpet at it. And, uh, and then if I was right, then getting it cracked. And incidentally, the way I crack these is I shoot full uh, maximum strength or maximum load amount for the first three like that because it doesn't really matter what what the uh, strength of the fissure is they will always the first three can always be full load and you see that brought me a lot closer sometimes the first three will actually get me right in the blue here they're not let's see this is a high strength so again i need to shoot a full strength and then i need one more and uh this is a low strength uh so Let's see if there's is there a medium one here. Average strength. Okay, so this is an average strength. I think all I need is one average strength here. So I'm going to do that. And there we go. I'm in the blue. And then I just start backing up. I detonate now so we don't have to wait. Back up to a little over one kilometer, maybe 1.2 kilometers. I actually don't have any, uh, well, I have no collectors out, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. But this blast can certainly kill collectors. And then what I do is, as soon as I get a little closer, 
Uh, wait for that gap to form for these to start drifting apart like that. Just start blasting these away. Oop, that was a miss. Oh, come on. There we go. And I, you notice I'm not letting the limpets out yet. And the reason I'm not letting the limpets out is because if I were to let them out right now, way too many limpets would be dead. Because these chunks, these large pieces of the rock that we're shooting... Uh, come on. There we go. They are way too close together. And I need to wait until these are a little bit further apart before I let the limpets go. And while they're drifting apart, though, I can keep blasting pieces off. Uh, because I can move around them a lot better than the limpets can. So, let's see. Let's get that blasted off. Okay. And there's another one there. But they've drifted enough apart now. I'm going to do two things. First thing I'm going to do is look to see how many monazites we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 19. So, really, 19 monazite chunks. Um, that's pretty good. Like I said, I, I usually average from about uh, 15 to 20. So this is right there in the in the average category. Now I'm going to get all my limpets out there to make this happen faster. And uh, make sure I open up my cargo. I usually forget to do that. And then just wait for the limpets to clean this mess up. And when it's comes down to most of those rocks uh, being in my hull. And then I'll fly around and pick up the last couple uh, once the limpets are, are done cleaning up the main area here. I think I still have a couple that are... Uh, yeah, I have, I have one. I don't want to pick up the gold, so I'm just going to pick up this monazite. Let's mark it. So that's the only chunk that I still need to get rid of. And it looks like it's over here. Yeah, it's over there. So I'm slowly going to start making my way over here. I don't want the limpets to chase me too far. And then I'll actually, I'm going to go straight up. Make it faster and easier for the limpets to get those last few rocks. There we go. Okay. And then let's get this last one knocked out. go and it looks like I have some more rocks over there with limpets chasing me get closer to them make it easier for them come on guys there you go and then there's just a couple more pieces that again I'll fly over there to make it easier for the limpets So, what is this? Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a few more that I haven't knocked off. Oh, these are the wrong ones. These are gold. I don't want gold, so I don't really care about that. Uh, so, I think that's it. Um, unless those... That's Prospector. And uh, those are Prospectors. That's it. We're done. So, at this point, I just close up my cargo. I will Turbo up speed get to full speed over 400 and then i usually like to flip around so i'm flying this way and then just keep going in the direction you were previously going uh flip over to pulse start re continuously pulsing as i'm flying but you see i'm flying at full speed here i'm not stopping for every gold rock to scan it i'm not wasting limpets on that 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 rock right there is the right shape, kind of, but it's too small. We're looking for medium rocks only that are egg-shaped or pear-shaped. Let's fly a little bit more towards this way. Is that pear-shaped or is that just round? So that is the wrong shape because it's kind of got a flat side to it. 
So we're not going to bother stopping to scan. Neither one of these is worth scanning. So I guess for people that are wondering, like, w how can I mine quickly and just focus on getting these cores? This is all I'm doing. I'm just flying around focusing on only stopping to scan rocks that are the correct shape. That one the right's too too big. This one's the right size. But I think this one's just just pure, perfectly round. Yeah, this is not a uh, egg-shaped rock, so we're going to keep going. Wrong shape, wrong shape, wrong shape, wrong size. Uh, and this is where having a Toby headset helps because I can just move my head around uh, or not a headset but a Toby tracker to uh, track your head I should that's what I meant to say um, now that one kind of looks like the right shape but I think it's I'm not sure if it's the right size I have to get closer to it to know if it's the right size or not but this is the shape you're kind of looking for kind of pear shaped egg shape whatever so let's slow down and there are smaller size rocks that are the correct shape which I think this one may end up being the correct yeah so this is a, the correct shape rock but it's too small you can see it is the shape that we want but it's small size not medium size so we're looking for a medium size version of that shape and that's it so every deep core that i want to mine is going to be a medium size egg shape or pear shape everything else all these round things all the small rocks they're they're not gonna have the right deep core so this looks like is a medium that we're coming up to let's let's shoot it and test as we get closer slow down a little bit so we don't kill the limpet And look at that. We got a core. Another core of monocyte. So how long was that? Probably four or five minutes between deep core rocks of exactly what I'm looking for. So I'll go ahead and end the video here, guys. You saw me do it with no cuts. Um, it, it's, I guess there's some luck involved, but mostly it's just technique. It's just looking for the right thing.